Hi, Arenas here, and today I want to share with you five ways to motivate yourself to study a boring subject or complete a project. See, to achieve big things in life, it takes hard work. It also requires taking action despite the way you feel. So how can you stay motivated to keep taking action, especially when the task is painfully boring and you feel in a flat mood? Strategy number one, work in eight minute power burst. Invest in a timer and work in eight minute power burst. Eight minutes doesn't sound like a very long period of time, but it's long enough to allow you to get into the swing of a particular activity. When you need to start working on a particular project, set the alarm for eight minutes and tell yourself, I'm going to focus on doing this for eight minutes, no distractions. When the timer goes off after 8 minutes, you have two choices. If you are struggling with the task, you can take a break, but if you are on a roll, keep going. The beauty of this strategy is that after 8 minutes, you will most likely have eased into the project, realized this isn't so bad, and want to keep going. Strategy number 2. Teach each other. In groups of 2, 3 or 4, break a subject down into parts, each go off and learn a part thoroughly, and then come back together and teach each other what you've learned. The teacher could prepare a slideshow and a handout, explain how to answer past paper questions, and ask the other members of the group to work through some questions together. This method of revision works brilliantly for a few reasons. First, it's active forcing you to confront problems rather than skipping over them, and transform information into a form someone else will understand. Second, it's fun and social, giving you a break from the solitary confines of your spot in the library. It can be adjusted to suit pretty much any subject. In economics or history, you could each take an essay question, prepare a model answer, and discuss it with the group. In a literature exam, you could provide readings and summaries of books or poems. In maths or science, teach a whole topic. Strategy number three, try something new. There are radio shows and podcasts on basically everything these days. I revised for my Shakespeare exam at university by listening to a really useful podcast on iTunes, and a quick search confirms there are hundreds more jeers towards IB, A-level, and all kinds of exams. Don't feel confined to those specifically for your course. You can learn new and interesting information that might boost your grade and give your exam a edge simply by searching for a topic you're interested in. Downloading and listening to this will give you a fresh perspective or a new way of understanding a topic, and in addition, is a more low-key method of revising, something you can do while you're walking to school, sitting on the tube, or relaxing in the evening. Strategy number five, true interest. Another very effective motivational element that helps you to get motivated to study is your interest in the subject. True interest. If you are able to develop a true interest in what you are studying, it will help you in becoming very motivated. If you know the difference between a task you dislike and an assignment you enjoy, you know what I mean. Important tips to become truly interested in studying. First of all, get curious about the subject. Second, read interesting books, magazines, or articles on the topic. And team up with others that are interested in the subject as well. I hope you found these motivational tips useful. To help you stay motivated and achieve your goals in record times, I'm running free 30 days real motivation bootcamp. You can enroll at www.goland.com slash lp slash motivation. I will post the link in the description section. It just takes one minute to sign up, so make sure you do it now. I will see you inside.